I'm Kirk Johnson, president of the BMW Motorrad Club of Northern Illinois, here with Doug Ross. And uh, in this little uh, review video, we're going to be both previewing and reviewing two rain suits. We got uh, uh, the Tour Master Sentinel 2.0, and we also have a the Defender, the newer Defender 2.0. Uh, Doug is, uh, as you can see, is fully geared up. He's going to try on his uh, Sentinel 2.0. We're, we're definitely different sizes. He wears a, a 2X. I wear a, a large. But uh, anyway, we're just going to kind of go through some of the features of both of these suits. Uh, this this one retails right around the $100 price point, uh, something like that, maybe $114. Uh, Doug, how much does this one go for? I think this one's up at like $175. Something like that. So, so this one's going to be certainly better featured. There's going to be more to it. Hopefully, than, than uh, the the Defender. I haven't even had this this one out of the bag yet. So, we'll uh, kind of lay them here side by side on the table. We'll bring the camera in and be able to see some of the major differences here between these two suits. Hopefully, they're both waterproof. Yeah. Let's start off with the Defender or the Sentinel. Sorry, the Sentinel 2.0. Uh, you can see it's a three-quarter length jacket has a lot of pockets on it I'm just gonna really point out I don't know anything about this jacket in particular other than the things that I'm just seeing right off the bat here I've never had a look at this thing before um, looks like it's got a uh, some waterproof zipping here a little side pouch uh, these look like they're all waterproof because they got this little flap that comes over you got waterproof pockets on here Yep, they're all the same. They all, they all have that. Of course, you have the Velcro um, and uh, and then a YKK zipper. You got a good gusset area here. This is uh, so that it doesn't wick up the back. If you have this uh, mesh material here, which helps keep you cool, if you have this all the way down to the bottom, it it tends to uh, draw water up in here, and then the whole jacket's wet. And why even have a jacket on at that point? This looks like a little uh, a self storage zipper, so you, a little little pouch here, so you can kind of fold the thing up and store it in its within itself. I don't know if you can do that because then how would you close the zipper? I don't know. We'll try it. Yeah. Um, That's got, a nice uh, feature. You got these drawstrings on here with a little little catch on there, so you can so it doesn't you know sit out there flapping in the wind. Uh, slap it against your leg or whatever. A two-way zipper, and you got uh, some fleece lining for the collar to keep that comfortable. I'm sure it's in the sleeves as well. Yep, Oops. this is all fleeced out. Uh, looks like a pretty decent area here for uh, you got not only a stretch panel, but you have uh, Velcro too to really tighten up those those sleeves. A lot of reflective on the jacket. You can see all the silver areas on this jacket are underarm zipper vent are uh, reflective. Well, that's a good feature having uh, underarm zipper vents to uh, help with venting a little bit. Probably has a vent. They're not zippered though. No, they're not zippered. Okay so it has a kind of a permanent venting system back here to help with billowing as well. So uh, oh, it also has a uh, pants connection zipper, which you know I've never really seen in a rain suit, but uh, a great idea. Definitely, that would really help keeping it down while you're riding, especially if you're riding in uh, more of that aggressive uh, forward position where you get a lot of billowing up the back. Uh, okay, well, let's. Uh, and then we'll, uh, we'll try to fold it hood into this real quick here. And a hood underneath the collar. Oh yeah, forgot about that. Very important. That we works. This, we got the rain hood under here. I think the other one has that too, but it has one of those little little baklava type baklava. <laughs> Balaklava. That, that's what I meant. It's to not say. a baklava. It's a baklava. <laughs> yeah, one of those things you eat. That's where you can store your uh -huh. uh, blueberry muffin. There you go. Okay, so set that back up. And let's see if we can kind of 
stuff itself into this nozzle tray. How are you going to zipper it? I don't know. I'm not saying it's going to work. <laughs> it's just a, a pouch. It's just a pouch, I think, to keep your gloves in. All right. See, it didn't work at all. <laughs> it was a perfect idea. <laughs> what a great idea. Okay. I don't know, maybe you gotta turn it inside out or something. No. No. Or ruin my damn All suit. Right. <laughs> Alright. Next next up the uh, the pants. So pants here. We got plenty of reflective areas, as you can see. Looks like it's got some nice reinforced panels in the knees. That's a very nice feature. Has the uh, heat resistant material on the legs for you guys that ride the uh, uh, cruiser bikes, things like that with an exposed exhaust so you don't melt it. It's got a boot strap on there. Oops, hold on, to, there we go. It's got the boot strap on there to uh, keep it, keep the legs down while you're riding. Um, also has, uh, you know, the full gusset here with the, um, the zippered closure as well as an elastic so you probably get a good I would think a good tight seal around the legs on the waist area it's just a an elastic there's no suspenders or anything like that on these just an elastic area and then it has this uh, this pad that kind of comes up on your back here to help keep the rain out also has the uh, the other side of the connection zipper uh, it's kind of a real thin, feels like a little thin foam pad or something that's inside there. These are, it has that mesh in there, so you, uh, it helps keep you a little bit more cool. And let's see how far does that go down. Let's roll one of these pants out backwards here. Uh, you can see it's just really in the seat area and in the crotch area uh, here at the legs. Which is good. Compared to the Sentinel-1, the mesh went down further and that's what caught on your boot. Uh, okay. So, hopefully you get a little bit of an idea of what these, these pants are about. Alright. Okay, next up is the Defender. I don't think it's really necessary to do a head-to-head -head video of this because that, that suit really is it's more featured. It's going to be, a, I, I think, a superior suit to this one. But for you budget-minded people like me, we have. Uh, all right, we got the Defender suit. So, let's see what we get here. Oh, look at that! Actually, does come with a little uh, kind of little storage bag. That's nice. And uh, it has that. Looks like about a three-quarter inch. A, a three-quarter length certainly doesn't have the pocket options that the other one has. This one has just uh, looks like some hand warmer pockets that have the waterproof zippers, and it's just a very simple pocket. There's nothing uh, nothing going on there. Same with the the chest pocket, uh, just waterproof pocketing. Has the liner in the collar which is a nice tall collar and also has that same hood feature that roll out hood so you can roll that up keep the uh, rain from running down the back of your neck okay has reflective piping not as much reflective as seen on that other suit but still has some so all this, these areas right in here, this is all just some piping. I think that it's probably going across the back as well. Yep. So you got uh, reflective piping along the back. These are reflected labels on here. Same kind of uh, setup on the on the sleeves. You got your Velcro and then an elastic to uh, go around the outside of your gloves or just around your wrist if you tend to wear your gloves over your, your thing. Okay, well here's something that could be a potential issue I can see already. doesn't have that, uh, that same setup going on here for 
wicking water off the back. So it has this little fold over area, a little bit of it. It's not really well done. Of uh, this this fold over channel here that's supposed to channel water away from you uh, once you once you close this over. So that might not be as as good as it could be. Again, you get what you pay for, right? That's one of those things. All right, you can see this mesh lining goes all the way to the bottom here, and uh, I know just from experience that this will tend to wick water up eventually, and it will get inside here and make me feel very clammy, and I don't know that I'll even uh, necessarily keep this suit just based on this alone. I, I don't like that feature. This is the first time I'm, I'm seeing the version 2.0. I had a, a, the first version of this suit, and uh, it utterly failed. It, every last aspect of the suit failed. Uh, I got a new one, and not real pleased at that, that panel. I, I think I like that uh, suit a lot better from Tour Master over there already. But you make up your just you make up your own mind. You've seen there, seen that. Now let's take a look at the pants. Okay, it's for reasonably similar features here. I'll start at the front. Okay, direct comparison right away. I can see this one does not have any kind of reinforced knee area. It does have some the heat shielding. It has the bootstraps as well, which are fully removable. So you got two snaps on there if you don't like that feature. And uh, I think like like the old model, it had uh, just a zipper with the with the gusset. Hopefully it's big enough to get with a boot on without any, without any, you know, really too much trouble. Not really sure. Well, they put a they put a pocket out here in the front of this one. A single pocket on the left side. I'm sorry, on the right side. Never did learn that. Has a reinforced seat area. And I'll pull out one leg like I did on the other one. As you can see, this one has also it has suspenders. Oh. Hmm. Which are instead of the connection zipper. Which are not removable. It's removable off of one. But on the other side, if you don't want them, you're going to have to cut cut the suspenders off. Uh, I had that on my old suit, and I was kind of indifferent about it. It really didn't seem like it was a all that big of a deal to mess with the suspenders. I never felt the benefit of them. I don't. These pants weren't loose enough that they tended to just fall off of me. Uh, I don't get on and off the bike enough to, uh, you know, I don't walk around in them. I suppose if I was taking a walk in the woods or something, I might want the suspenders on. So. But that's just a guess. See how far up the mesh goes. All right. You can see in here the uh, the mesh really is just in that same area. It's right around your your waist area, maybe down a little bit onto your legs, about uh, kind of like a pair of shorts would fit. The ones I'm wearing probably the covers right about to there. And okay, the next part of the video here, we're gonna show. What they look like on. Uh, again, Doug is a size, a, a normal size, a 2X. I don't know if that's normal or not. Probably <laughs> not. It's actually quite huge. But, uh, so he's going to put on his circus tent, and then I'm going to put on my little, uh, like, Speedo. Okay? Yeah. That's what it's going to look like. <laughs> no, we'll, we'll show basically what it looks like just putting it on. You know, how much time it takes to put on. Uh, Doug has worn this suit once before. He didn't really get caught in a big rainstorm. It was more of a fog scenario, so there was really no reason to test the waterproof abilities, anything like that. We're going to just assume that the waterproof abilities out of a brand new suit are there, but uh, maybe we'll make a little addendum to this once we catch up with some rain and uh, really ride through some worse conditions that warrant a rain suit. 
All right, here we go. Uh, previous ones I had, the problem was this boot gusset was not large enough. And um, to put this on with your boots on, my boot was always getting caught in here. I'm wearing CDs. Uh, they have a slight lug to it. Um, so here goes the coordination factor. There's a double lining, so it's usually a pain in pain to find the boot. There it is. Okay. You're running a stop on. See this double lining gets hung up on the lug. So definitely they need to increase this. If this was to here, this is not something you want to be screwing around. Okay, so now I don't think I'm going to be able to do this without holding on to something. And if I'm on the side of the road, now you're sitting down or figuring something. So if you're putting these on the side of the road, find a place with a bench or a curb. Always make sure you're pulling out on the zipper when you're pushing this down so you're not catching up on that gusset. I don't suppose you're going to turn the aircon on. <laughs> well, I need to. There we have it. Okay, so you can, uh, you can see it really wasn't the, the easiest thing to put on. They never uh, were. The legs, I think it's going to be really dependent on what kind of boots you're riding. Yeah. Uh, if you if you have uh, touring boots with a touring sole instead of this more aggressive kind of lug sole, I think that's going to make a big difference in how fast you can get the pants on or how easy they come on. Uh, uh, with sizing, Doug, would you say the sizing is, is correct? This yeah, so yeah, I would no, have. I would say it is. Um, I'm a two X, and I've got on a uh, an Olympia gear uh, underneath this. I don't have uh, the wind liner in. I don't have the thermal liner in. So add that to it. That's going to bulk a little bit. So you're going to need every bit of this, but still it's still room. comfortable. I still have full extension without it pulling, um, and. Good reflection. Some really good coverage here coming all over, pretty much right into the middle of his back. And uh, and then if he were to put that connection zipper on there, that's going to hold, help hold things together even more so. How easy it is to do here. Okay. 
one thing I didn't really note in the uh, in the first part was you got a pretty good size area of that reinforced area on the seat. And that's nice to see. Uh, definitely helps with the waterproofing abilities. Yeah, that doubled up. You can feel it. I'll take your word for it. I'm no, go ahead. It. Go ahead. No. All right, so that's uh, that's a review or of this one, at least the fitment guide and stuff like that. Again, we might put out a, a little uh, sub-review once we get a, a test of the waterproof abilities of both of these suits to uh, just talk about them, give it a kind of a rating. Right now, looks like a pretty decent suit from here. So I put, put the uh, Defender 2.0 on. Uh, I'm wearing a Revit gear. This is a size large. Again, these are a size large. So, we'll see what they how they go on. Now, I'm not going to unhook the uh, the straps right now unless I absolutely need to. But let's do this. All the uh, suspenders and crap are in the back. Um. <laughs> oh, I think I just tore something. That'd be great. I already ripped. That's the difference of those soles. Yeah. Show your soul, man. These are, uh, yeah. these have the touring sole on here. So, definitely makes a big difference. Oh, that's backwards. Definitely going to have to use the hell out of the draw cords on here. This suit is very big. That's huge. For a size large, it feels like uh, an XL at the very least. I think it was mislabeled. It definitely feels very that, big. It looks huge. So, here right. I am wearing my hefty bag, my hefty liner. Green Bay Cut. Green Bay Cut. Yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> but it is a three-quarter length, so that's nice. But Again, I think there's going to be some real issues with this material and wicking up. It's going to pull right up in there, and pretty soon, chest is wet, back's wet, everything. It's be down the sleeves. Uh, it wouldn't take it wouldn't take a really long, serious rainstorm to turn this thing into a big wet bag. So that's how it looks. Uh, I certainly have lots of room to move. There is no issues there. Let's see. Far up the uh, pants go. <laughs> Somewhere in there. So I guess in conclusion, uh, just just from what I can see between these two outfits, uh, certainly the Sentinel is going to be the one to get if you want to spend a little bit extra money for that one, or even a lot of extra money. You get what you pay for. This one is really just a, I think, an occasional use suit. This is not a serious touring suit. Uh, it's maybe for commuting, you know, if you're only going to be riding in the rain for an hour or so. But if you're in for four or five hours, I can see already this one's just not going to cut it. You're going to be wet. So, that's it for this re uh, review, preview, whatever you want to call it. Thanks for watching, and uh, check out our other videos. I, I did review one other rain suit. It's the, uh, the Revit 2.0, it's uh, the... I can't remember what it's called. It's a Revit suit anyway. It's their one piece. Pacific H2O, I think it was called. And uh, check that one out too. Thanks for watching.